Welcome back to ET Races, week 137, day 7, the final day. On the defense fronts, we got two uh, challenge and we won both. So let's take a look. Alright, so they got like three different carries in one team. We have um, New Year's, I mean, uh, Winter Altina, Reposition, and Sorcery Blade. Dagger, plus one, um, reposition, ether, brace and attack speed. Plus ten, plus nine, Nagi, with reposition, ether, far save, and mystic boost. Very interesting set. Mela, plus one, plus three, with rally, I uh, mean, bonfire, defres, ruse, and fortress defres. Plus 7, plus 5, Ninja Lane with Reposition, Rupture Sky, Attack Defense, Snag, which doesn't that only work if you're a dance? Oh, Movement Assist skill, yeah. And Flyer Formation. And finally, Peony, plus 1 with Miracle and Fear Stance. So yeah, this Nagi is... Well, yeah, something happens to Nagi, basically. So, here goes Lina. This is not a life and death Lina, so... It's Nagi, she has guards, so Nagi only gets mm, one cooldown per... Now... Here, Bernie is able to take out Nagi. Bernie, Nagi has weapon triangle advantage against colorless. So I wanted to see like what her devils were, but uh, the man, it just went before I got. Then this is the life and death Lilina. She takes out dagger. What? No way. And then. One of the daggers moves in, the other dagger is allowed to move forward to kill Not, And finally Peony moves. And at this point all they have is their Peony and Altina. So they lost three units in one match. Sure, Altina could take on, on Lina, but actually no, they still have Mela, so. And then this one. This one should have been a victory for them, 100%, like, they just mess up uh, on their positioning. So we have Dagger with Repositions with Sparrow, Peony with Mumbo, Triangle Adept, Wings of Mercy, Close Guard, and Distant Guard. Plus 5 Flowers Flame with uh, Miracle, Physic, Attack Speed Push 4, Gra and Aerobatics. Plus 3 Mela with Double Fortress Death, um, Smite Ether, Defress Slink, Gustav with Pivot and Double Close Defense, and finally a plus 7, plus 10 Summoner Supported, Brave Hector with Pivot, Ether, Special Fighter, Far Save, and Distant Defense. So, this should have been a slam dunk, like we got been twice by save skills, especially like Enery. Our first defeat was to a double save team with a Hector, which was not as invested as this one. But, as you can see, they did not save Peony. And I think in their mind, Lilina uh, attacks Peony, and because Peony has Strangle Adept, she can take on Lilina. However, it's Bernie that just goes in and one shots peony and that's it so yeah what i think is in their mind the uh, peony with triangle adept and um flame support could have taken out lilina but it was highly unnecessary they had a hector I 
Hector that has triangle A that has enough speed to outspeed my uh, my windsweep Lilina because he hit 35 speed and then he got he was hitting 35 speed because of the peon evolves and then he was getting the extra 2 speed from Mila which was more than enough to break through uh, windsweep but yeah now and even then you would not want to fight these things look I don't want to fight this. This is my build. This is the Mystic Boost Ike. Mystic Boost Ike is a pain to get rid of. Alright, so let's get on to these matches. Um, or match, match, not matches. Please let it not be matches. Just one single match. Impact Chrome. Alright. Um, no daggers, so no weird shenanigan movements. But we do have Celeph. Plus 10. Yeah, plus 10, plus 10 with DC, no C, time pulse, and deflect magic. For Glimmer, so he can always pro Glimmer. Hell, uh, Mystic Boost Hell with Miracle. Okay, so they really want to make sure that, although... Does that even work? Well, I guess it could work, like... She could stop the first hit if she's already, like, against a mage. If she's weakened, she could stop a hit against a mage. Of course, Windsweep Selina. She's always Windsweep. Eldegan plus 10, they went all the way with Wagasa, which I don't recommend, but whatever, it's you do you. Triandra, Wings of Mercy, and finally Chrome with Sturdy Impact, which is kind of like that annoying part over here. Sturdy Impact Chrome. So we do have Nolsi, we could take that. Ryoma a red flying versus chrome a green a blue archer it would be funny to see but 54 speed selena i think we even outspeed her Forty. oh no she does get plus five from her weapon so technically it's like 59 speed selena 45, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, basically 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, and 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So we hit about 65 speed. So we could outspeed her. That would be kind of weird, like taking on these two with a red unit. It's a lot of blue span. I should definitely go with Fallen Leon, because I think it's a smart choice. This Chrome does hit like 50 defense. There is a rally, so you go over here, rally, to get dance. Both dancers can reach, so it will be to isolate the Selena. I kind of want to try it. Chrome's reach is one, two, right here. Selena's reach is one, two, three, right here. I will so I'm not able to put uh, Hinoka be behind I wouldn't be able to put Hinoka behind just because of Selena how dangerous she would be I mean because of Chrome because if one two I will have to go with Ryoma right here to bait Selena one two three to bait her but then if I do that and I put Hinoka behind Chrome just one shots Hinoka no problem easy day If 
I go from this side and I shut down uh, it's like a shutdown chrome now on that end Selena will go and not rally anybody I guess maybe rally Deandra but she'll rally in place if you isolate chrome oh and then there's that so yeah definitely you should not go with should not go with that team here I do a speed them I reach like 80 plus speed I could kill Chrome I do I, I want to go then we have this team which is not good well it's not that good Selena just Edgar cannot take on Selena this team should be the team and we haven't tried this team but they're not killing Chrome might even be Tiandra if I go from here one two there is no BS this time no I will have speed you but let's try it I want to go with this team I'm gonna go with this team probably but probably I mean definitely not the best team to go with we'll isolate you guys over here You can go one, two. All right. So, how do I break this though? We need you to end up, we need Lucina to end up over here. So you can go over here and end up right there, right? One, two. Due to isolation, I require, yeah, because of isolation, I have to have Mila right here. What kind of buffs does Fion have at the moment? None. Yes. No buffs for Fion, hey. so. What's next? I have to dance with Peony from the get-go. I guess Mila can do provide some buffs. Defense and rest buffs, which are the important ones. All right. Glimmer of life. It will be done. Rally. Death's caress. Break. Maybe this way. Uh, I guess we'll dance stagger. Right, boss. Ready. As you say. Move you here. Your Move orders. you here. And as for Dagger, if you say so, we'll leave her where she is. All right, we'll see. We'll see what kind of damage Chrome does. This is my all. Yep, that's what a glacier does to a Chrome. And here comes Selena. Huh. Are you ready? Cool. Orders, please. Now, obviously, hell. We will not be able to one shot hell. Wings of Mercy means that we should definitely not go after hell. Yeah, we'll definitely leave her at 1 HP. Yes. She does 25 damage to us. She'll do less on enemy phase. Salif is not a threat. Fjorn can handle him. Right, boss.
Should I go with yeah. dagger over here or bait you with Mila? Like this. I bestow my blessing. Right, boss. You won't be able to dagger uh, double dagger since she has no follow up as well. You won't Four be able to double Fiorm because of no follow up. I just don't do enough damage with Fiorm from the get go. If you say so. So I'm gonna put you here. I wanna put Fiorm here to take on uh, Salif. As you say. Then we can break yes. you with air, barely, but we can. Yes. Got him. Right, boss. What's next? Good morning. Dance. The glimmer of life. Go here. All right. There will be a dance. He'll go after Fjorn, or she'll go after Fjorn. Miracle doesn't proc. And like I said, Salif is not a threat to anything. This is my all. All right, and now, uh, can we get the pots? Like this. Mela doesn't double because she doesn't have quick repose. Got him. It will be done. Forty-four attack. You if won't be able to so. do anything against Fiorm either. Yes. Death's caress. Break this. What's next? Maybe this way. Yes. Your orders. The glimmer of life. Yep. I bestow my blessing. Get this. Get this. Yes. Ready. Yes. Get this. Got him. And bye bye, Eldigan. All right, and that was that. A lot of fun to do it with Fjorm. Being able to take that souped up Chrome. Sturdy impact. Yeah, so that Chrome had like what? 50 defense. We were able to one shot him with a single Glacius. Alright, so we did make it tier 39, oh, just outside of 1k at the moment, which means that we're safely top 3k. I guess it was that one death we took the other day, or maybe those 10 points that we weren't supposed to lose on defense. So at this 10 points right here. We were not, it was supposed to be only a 40 loss, but we forgot to bless Peony, which left us at a 50 loss. But yeah, so this is one of the most successful weeks that we have had, and that's because we were using Cancer. So we definitely will not be using this team next light season. It's just, as you can see, it's good, but things like this, that this full failure right here, which should have been the same thing over here. And there, I think there was another save team that also messed up. So yeah, save teams, like save Hector's destroyed this team like without even trying. 
So we'll definitely need something else. Um, so yeah, that's why I will not run it on non not bonus seasons. If not is the bonus unit, then it's easy to run it because I can lose 40. As, but other than that, I am not gonna count on losing like 60 points. So next week, um, who is the bonus unit next week? Um, Peony? No, Marvelous. Marvelous means I can run weird things. I can pretty much run anything. You can even run this team again. It has a duo, it has all the stuff. Maybe switch the map layout. Definitely not run a team like this anymore. Well, first, because if I lo unlock this team, this thing goes away. Since all of these Edgars have been merged into one. And same with Trasier. But that team also scores very poorly. Yeah, we have plenty of choices. We can even run this team. Well, the, actually, no. I don't even know if it's win next week. But whatever. For now, let's see if there's anything to summon. Oh, yeah, there should be because we have a boating gauntlet. Um, I guess we should go for either Katria. Well, they're all four star exclusive, five star exclusives at the very least. Katria is the best unit here, but Farina and Fiora. Fiora does have Pegasus flights, which. I would need a new one since I got rid of the last. Ah, uh, the one extra hat I had given it to Ryoma before the Bushido upgrade. So, if I were to get another Fiora, I don't know who I give Pegasus Flight to this time. Flight is just there. Nah, I'm not gonna try to get Katria. And that's it. Um, we should be getting the trailer tonight for the legendary hero. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow because well, this is gonna be out before that. Anyway, if it wasn't before I that, uh, I gotta work tonight, so it wouldn't matter anyway. I will be going for uh, Cronia on this one since I managed to get everything I wanted on Cronia. We got no follow up. We have. I uh, would have prefer a menace over the trend attack, but trend attack rest is really good on her. Uh, we got the rupture sky. We got the alternate weapon since uh, she doesn't have a refine on her weapon yet. There's no point in going for her weapon. So I'm definitely going to be picking up this Cronia. I mean, Bronia. Attack speed ideal means she can get up to 9 speed and speed is very important if you run no follow-up. I don't know if I'll use her on anything, like I'll put her on a offense team or a defense team, but for the, at the very least I'll have an Acronia for an option. Other than that, let's see how all of you who have played have ended up. At the top of our friend list, of course, is Kako, which 21 for 10 is a really high score. You just are not ever going to get I need triple merges. I need think you need 3 plus 10 metrics to reach a score like that. So, yeah. Uh, but then we have ECLA, Amethyst, Lamrus, Neo Sourceman on the dot. Way to go, Neo Sourceman. Promise, missing it by 8 points. Uh, Tier 39 though, so tier 38 is still, she still gets to stay in Bolt of Heaven. It was looking rather bad yesterday. Dark Luster also staying in tier 29, uh, 28, which is at 800. At 800, so we were Dark Luster, Michael, 
Ren, Brave Blitz, uh, and that's the cutoff. So, unfortunately, dropping down will be Yakiomi, Logan, uh, Matt, Brandy, Oron should be coming back, Silver, Dogs, Diego, Ghostin, Alan. Alphonse, Bean, wait, 13,280, is it 13,300, 13,400, we'll check in a second, and that's it, so yeah, here, what is it, 27, 13,400, yeah, 13,400, so does, I think she just misses it, right on the dot yeah so she doesn't like both being bolt of heaven so um, get as high as you can be without reaching it with all that being said um, thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time bye